Good morning. It is sometime in the morning. I have literally just got up. Uh, this is what I look like when I first get up. Today I'm going to be showing you how I get ready in the morning during the times that we're currently in. I don't know what my hair is doing today. It looks like a lot. My hair care routine, I have to admit, has kind of gone out of the window. Ooh. After I shower, I like blow dry in a really particular way that takes forever and I use like, a bunch of products when I blow dry. Uh, I haven't been doing that, so it looks like what it looks like right now. Can you see my outfit? I've never worn this style before, but quarantine is a time to try out new things. So there you go. I normally go for things that are like super fitted. This definitely could do with an iron, by the way. As I'm sure you can tell. Just a disclaimer, I'm currently staying at my parents' house. So I packed a few things when I came here, but I don't have most of my stuff with me. So this is how I've been getting ready with a very limited supply of things. First things first, I need a multivitamin. Giant. Okay. Uh, the only earrings I have with me are hoops. I forgot to pack any others, so I'm kind of weirdly worried about my ears closing up, so I've just been wearing hoops like regularly. So typically, I would normally wake up about one and a half to two hours before I would leave for work. Now, not so much. My hair is definitely the thing that's taken the biggest hit out of everything. It's not looking like really shiny or moisturized in the way that I'd want it to. The shape is like not the same. First things first, it's time to cleanse. Welcome to my bathroom. Apologies if there's any echo in here. So first things first, I'm gonna go clean my skin. I've decided to use this cleanser today, the Mario Badescu one. I don't actually know how to say that. Mario Badescu. I'm assuming that's what it says. I, I feel like it's pretty good. It hasn't done anything terrible to me. I was particularly drawn by the fact that it says it's acne. It's acne. Not that I have acne, but I don't know. I just thought sometimes I get like uh, a bit of a breakout here for some reason. This is an Australian pink clay exfoliator by Sand and Sky. It says it's a flash perfection exfoliating treatment. I love this stuff. I feel like it really gets in there and um, exfoliates. My skin feels a lot cleaner after, so I use it probably about like once or twice a week. It is quite pricey for what you get, but I do feel like it it works really well. So your skin needs to be a little moist when you apply this on. It should be cleansed as well, ideally and you kind of massage it into your skin for about 30 seconds. And then you leave it on for five minutes or so, and then you rinse it off with warm water. Ooh. Okay, so it's been about five minutes, so now it's time to wash this off. Okay, so now I'm back, having it just exfoliated and cleansed my skin. It is feeling smooth, which is great. I still have like the remnants of something going on here, but it's like almost surface level. Like I don't really seem to be able to do much about it. So the next thing I do in my skincare routine is an under eye serum. This is a very new addition to my routine. Decium, I think that's how it's pronounced. Decium, Decium. And it's called Sub Q Eyes. It comes in this tiny little bottle, but you don't use a lot of it because it's just for your eye area. Right now I'm makeupless, so you can just see my face for all that it is. I haven't been sleeping that well recently either. Like I think most of us haven't. So that's probably contributing to this. So I decided to get this serum to see if it makes any difference. This is my first bottle. Can't really say I've noticed much of a difference yet, but I need to keep using it, I think. I don't know if you're actually supposed to pry it up here, but I have been just because it does say that it helps with fine lines as well. And I kind of, from from smiling a lot and from laughing a lot, I have like little, little lines here. I was curious to see if this would do anything for it. It's like a milky color. Pry a little bit and then just rub it in. As you can see, it's like a lot that comes out. So I usually can just like, it to bow and apply it all the way around. It's not that expensive either, I can't remember how much it is, but it's known for being quite decent on price, so it's not too bad. So look how many books I have brought with me. So when we were, it was looking like we were going to lockdown, I packed a ton of books with me to take with me to my parents' house. And these are the ones that I took with me. I have lots more in my London flat. So that's how many books I thought I would get through. I have read none of these and I'm still on the book that I 
started reading when all of this happened. I just don't want to read. I cannot focus. Yesterday I tried to read right before bed and I only managed to read. So I started this chapter, chapter three, and I read probably about five pages, six pages or whatever that was. The point is, don't feel bad. If you're not feeling up to something, don't do it. That's my motto. Now that the eye serum has dried, it's time to move on to the rest of the face. So I have two serums that I use regularly, both from The Ordinary. Now here's where the pronunciation gets a bit tricky. Niacinamide. Niacinamide, yeah. Niacinamide 10% plus zinc 1%. And I also have alpha arbertin 2% and HA, which is hyaluronic, hyaluronic acid. These are some scientific names. So I usually use the alpha arbertin first. I feel like I always apply too much of this and I have to wait ages for it to dry. And sometimes I have a struggle opening it. This is not opening. So I have to like get my towel and use that. There you go, it's open. It's open. So yeah, just put it on the face. Like I said, I probably put too much on, but it needs mask. Yeah, definitely put too much on. Okay, so that is now basically applied and now it's time to wait for this one to dry. These two in particular are like kind of my holy grail products, I'd say. I feel like they're really lightweight, they're really, they're inexpensive um, relatively to other skincare products, but I feel like they do a lot. <coughs> now it's time to use the second serum. It's like a lot thicker than the other one. It's kind of gloopy. Um, it's a bit weird, a bit gross, but it works, so. There you go. I have no idea how you're supposed to apply these things. Um, I just kind of do it how I do it, which is directly onto the face. But if there is a better way to do this, then please let me know. Okay. One thing that is slightly odd about this one, the niacinamide, however you pronounce it, is that it does smell slightly um, chemically. I mean, it is chemicals, but it just smells like that. When I use it religiously, uh, day and night, I find that it really makes a difference. Okay, so now onto the next step. This isn't something I do every day, but it is something I do when I have some stuff left over. Uh, so I actually have this face mask from Dr. Jart. It is, uh, because it is kind of ripped off, but it's like a clearing solution. Yeah, so this is the actual like closed packet of the mask. It's a clearing solution mask. Um, and it says that it covers blemishes and improves the tone and texture of skin. And then I also have this one, which I haven't used yet, which is firming solution and it improves the elasticity of your skin and smooths lines so that's great but this one i used the mask and there was loads of like serum just like left in the packet i feel like why not use it it's like left over in the packet and normally pre-lockdown i would then apply some kind of like primer or base um, I actually got this right before we started lockdown and because I'm not wearing makeup it just feels like such a waste to use this so I'm sad about that. One day I'll be able to use this again but not right now. Skipping forward onto the moisturiser. Now this is what really annoys me is that I ran out of moisturiser right before lockdown so I had to use a backup moisturiser that I had in my cupboard. In an ideal world I wouldn't use this because it's too rich for my skin. I don't need that much moisture right now given the weather that we're having and given the season that we're in. In fact, most of the time I don't need it. Because I have it though, I don't want it to go to waste. So yeah, just like the tiniest little amount. I just don't want it to unclog my skin. Mm -hmm. Always moisturize your neck. Overlooked part. As you can see, I didn't apply too much. It does already feel like a bit too much, but that's fine. The final part of my skincare routine is sun cream. It's actually been really sunny here in the UK. I know right now it looks very grey in my room, but I promise you it's been quite sunny. But you should wear sun cream all the time anyway. It's by Thank You Pharma and it is an SPF 50 water sun cream. And I really like it so far. It's very lightweight, it smells great. It does apply light, but when it comes out of the bottle, it's like, it is like a cream if you can see that. As you can see, it just goes on super lightly. And it smells great. It smells a bit like apples. It's not sticky, which is really crucial. I think sometimes a sun cream can get really sticky on your face and this one isn't, so that's great. In terms of makeup, since we've been practicing social distancing since lockdown, I haven't been wearing any really. I'm so much more aware of like waste. And to me, it feels like such a waste to be using my expensive makeup products at home when 
I could just be saving them for when I actually want to use them uh, properly. So I haven't used it that much at all actually. So that's it for me. Thank you for watching me get ready in the morning. I hope this has proved insightful. As you can see, really just skincare, pretty much exactly the same. Everything else just like, bleh but we'll get there. I think the thing that I've learned the most is that there isn't like a, a one size fits all rule in terms of how you want to do this and how you want to get through the day. So for me, I find that keeping some semblance of structure and routine helps me feel better about myself because when I don't get dressed and I don't do my skincare, I don't feel that great about myself. So I'm really curious to know how your routine has changed since lockdown. What are you doing differently? What are you doing the same? Especially in terms of like skincare and makeup, I'd love to know, have there been any major shifts in how you take care of your skin now that you're not going outside so much? Also really curious, if you're someone who used to wear a lot of makeup and right now you're not really wearing that much, has that made a difference to your skin? Would love to know. If you have any tips or any advice or just wanna share your experience, please do so down in the comments. And thank you for watching.